In a small town nestled between hills and dense forests, there was an old, abandoned hospital that had been the site of countless ghost stories and urban legends. The townspeople spoke in hushed tones about strange occurrences and eerie sightings near the decaying building. Among the most chilling tales was that of the haunted ambulance and the ghostly encounter with a dead body. Legend had it that many years ago, the hospital was a bustling center for medical care. One stormy night, a terrible accident occurred, leaving a victim in critical condition. The ambulance rushed through the winding roads, its siren wailing through the darkness as the paramedics fought against time. However, fate had other plans, and the patient succumbed to their injuries before reaching the hospital. The ambulance driver, devastated by the loss, parked the vehicle near the abandoned hospital and left it there, unable to bring himself to return to the scene of the tragedy. As the years passed, a chilling aura surrounded the old ambulance. Locals claimed that on foggy nights, the mournful siren could still be heard echoing through the hills. Brave souls who ventured near the vehicle reported seeing a ghostly figure in paramedic attire, forever haunted by the memory of the failed rescue. One night, a group of curious teenagers decided to investigate the legend for themselves. Armed with flashlights and a daring spirit, they approached the abandoned ambulance. The air grew colder as they circled the vehicle, their breath visible in the chill. Suddenly, the ambulance's siren pierced the silence, sending shivers down their spines. Panic set in as the ghostly figure materialized before them, its hollow eyes staring into their souls. The apparition spoke in a sorrowful whisper, recounting the tragic events of that fateful night. As the ghostly tale unfolded, the teens felt an otherworldly presence. In a flash, the figure vanished, leaving only an unsettling echo of its story lingering in the air. The group, now pale and trembling, stumbled away from the haunted ambulance, vowing never to return. The legend persisted, and the eerie encounter with the ambulance and the ghostly paramedic became a cautionary tale for those who dared to venture into the haunted corners of the town. The abandoned hospital and its spectral ambulance served as a chilling reminder of the thin veil between the living and the dead, where unresolved tragedies could eternally linger in the shadows. The air hung heavy with an eerie stillness as dusk settled over the forgotten town of Ravenswood. Two weary paramedics, Jake and Emily, were wrapping up their shift when a call came through the crackling radio. Dispatch informed them of an emergency at the desolate Ravenswood Sanatorium. The desolate building had a haunting history, shrouded in whispers of dark experiments and tortured souls. Its dilapidated walls stood as a grim reminder of a bygone era. The paramedics exchanged uneasy glances as they navigated the winding roads leading to the sanatorium. Upon arrival, they found the entrance ajar, swinging with an otherworldly creak in the chilly night breeze. A faint glow emanated from within, casting long shadows that seemed to dance with a life of their own. The atmosphere was thick with an unsettling energy as Jake and Emily cautiously entered the decaying structure. The corridors echoed with the distant sounds of moans and rattling chains, long-forgotten remnants of the tormented past. Following the source of the distress signal, they stumbled upon a room that seemed to pulsate with an otherworldly energy. The door creaked open, revealing a dimly lit chamber adorned with flickering candles. In the center lay a lifeless body, draped in a white sheet. The cadaver's cold, vacant eyes seemed to stare into the abyss. A nameplate on the gurney read, Elijah Blackwood. The paramedics hesitated, wondering who had summoned them to this forsaken place. Suddenly, the temperature plummeted, and the candles flickered violently. An ethereal presence materialized beside the body, the ghostly figure of Elijah Blackwood himself. He wore a tattered hospital gown, his translucent form shivering with an otherworldly glow. I need your help, Elijah whispered, his voice carrying a haunting melody. He explained that his death had not been a natural one. A malevolent force within the sanatorium had trapped his soul, preventing him from finding peace in the afterlife. 
His restless spirit longed to expose the truth behind the horrors that had transpired within those haunted walls. Reluctantly, Jake and Emily agreed to assist Elijah in unraveling the mysteries of Ravenswood Sanatorium. Together, the unlikely trio delved into the building's dark history, discovering a series of gruesome experiments that had taken place decades ago. The specters of the past, tormented souls trapped within the walls, began to reveal themselves as the trio ventured deeper into the abyss. As they uncovered the sinister secrets, malevolent forces sought to thwart their progress. Phantom nurses with hollow eyes and spectral orderlies emerged from the shadows, their ghastly forms echoing the pain and suffering inflicted upon the forgotten patients. The atmosphere grew increasingly oppressive, as if the very air conspired against the living. Haunted by visions and nightmares, Jake and Emily pressed on, determined to free Elijah's soul and expose the atrocities of the past. The ghostly entities intensified their efforts to keep the truth buried, manipulating the environment to create hallucinations that blurred the line between reality and the supernatural. Amidst the chaos, the two paramedics began to question their own sanity. Emily, haunted by apparitions of her deceased brother, struggled to maintain her composure. Jake faced his own demons, a past trauma that resurfaced in the ghostly corridors of Ravenswood. As the trio reached the heart of the sanatorium, they discovered a hidden chamber where the most heinous experiments had taken place. The walls were adorned with the tormented faces of the forgotten, their anguished expressions frozen in time. A malevolent entity, the source of the haunting, materialized before them, the ghost of Dr. Victor Gravemore, the sadistic mastermind behind the atrocities. Dr. Gravemore's ghastly visage sneered at the intruders, vowing to protect the dark secrets that bound the spirits to the sanatorium. A spectral battle ensued, with Elijah, Jake, and Emily confronting the malevolent doctor and his legion of tormented souls. The very fabric of the supernatural realm seemed to tremble as the living and the dead clashed in a desperate struggle for redemption. In a climactic moment, the paramedics and the vengeful spirits managed to weaken drive. Gravemore's spectral grip on the tortured souls. The ethereal realm trembled, and a blinding light enveloped the trio as they faced the final confrontation. With a guttural scream, drive. Gravemore faded into the darkness, his malevolent presence vanquished by the collective strength of those seeking justice. As the spectral energy subsided, a serene calm settled over Ravenswood Sanatorium. The tormented souls found solace, their anguished cries replaced by a peaceful silence. Elijah Blackwood, finally free from the shackles of the past, thanked Jake and Emily before fading into the afterlife. The paramedics emerged from the sanatorium, forever changed by the harrowing experience. The once forgotten town of Ravenswood seemed to exhale a collective sigh of relief, as if the very land had been cleansed of its dark history. As Jake and Emily looked back one last time at the dilapidated sanatorium, they couldn't shake the feeling that the echoes of the past, though ephemeral, would forever linger in the shadows of their memories. The haunted journey had not only uncovered the forgotten horrors but also forged an unbreakable bond between the living and the dead.